Hi everyone, my name is Clyde D'Souza and welcome to the first episode of this new video series called How to Miro. In this video series, we'll look at Miro.com, which is an online whiteboarding tool. Uh, and we'll take a look at the different features available and, and what you can actually do with this amazing tool. It's called Miro.com. So here on my screen, I have uh, Miro.com, the home page of Miro.com. Um, and it's nice and colorful. It tells you exactly what it is meant to do. Um, a quick tour over here um, there's a there's a link over here to watch the product demo but you can as you can see the few use cases that is outlined over here um, meetings and workshops ideation and brainstorming research and design agile workflows strategy and planning and mapping and diagramming so it does a whole bunch of other things as well so it's not just your regular whiteboard um, it has a whole bunch of features that have been have been built into this app uh, and you can use it from just adding post-its and managing your you know kanban board for example to to drawing workflow diagrams um and and even more um you know so it's not only for um for business but you can also use it for fun you can you can create workshops uh, you can organize workshops using mirror.com um or it can facilitate workshops um, and you can also uh, you know have a little fun activities going on so there's a there's a bunch of templates um, that allows you to um, uh, add a little fun to your Miro account as well uh, so a lot of things uh, are possible using Miro.com uh, and if you have a look at this particular drop down by use case it tells you a lot more so you know we discussed online sticky notes uh, you know research and designs it's a great tool for even documentation uh, you know you can um, it's because of its rich um, features you can document stuff a lot better so you can um, just add post-it notes uh, you can also draw uh, diagrams uh, right there so it's just one huge board imagine a whole whiteboard an online whiteboard with just information flowing around from different corners of the board so you it can because of its rich features you, it can get a lot useful as well so a bunch of different things that uh, we can take a look at but for today's video we'll start small uh, we'll start with the basics of Miro.com so what you can do is if you're starting from the scratch you can click on the sign up free button and then either create your account using your name, email address and password or you can sign up using one of these. I have already signed up with my Google account uh, and as you can see I have, um, if I refresh the page, I should have um, no boards or maybe just this one board here uh, which doesn't really matter uh, but anyway so if you are starting from scratch you should see no boards and um, then we can create a board together so once you create uh, a Miro account you would be asked to create a Miro team as well uh, which is this here on the on the, on the left um, you can create a new team or you would be asked to create a team from the scratch after you've created a team um, and you've opened up your Miro account, uh, we can click on the new board button over here to create a new board. Uh, and so that's fine. Uh, so what it just told me is that it will be, the board will be visible to all members in the team, but that's not to worry. Only if you have added more team members and you do want to restrict it, then you might need to look at the different sharing cap capabilities when you start by creating a new board it will uh, show up this lovely uh, dialog uh, and it will ask you um, if you want to create it from scratch or from from a blank canvas or you want to use one of the other templates um, that are available so some of these templates have, are being been pulled from uh, the mirror verse site so you can also search for templates and just click on use template uh, and that template will automatically appear on your board but for now I'll just close this and I'll just start from scratch 
So a couple of things, I don't mean to keep this video too too long, so just a couple of things to, a few things, not couple, like a few things to cover. Um, let's start with the basics. So you have your blank canvas over here, uh, and what you do is you start with editing your board settings. Uh, so now I can name this board. So um, let's go just call this demo for video uh, board, and the, the description would be demo you know, a board to uh, demo video.com um, and that's it. So a title and description and once we add more contents to the board, we can also select a preview area. So this gives you a little thumbnail image. So it's just easier to see. Now the reason I say to name your, give, give this board a nice title and description is because when you have a lot of boards in your Miro account, uh, you might find it very hard to to uh, visually track where your board is that you're looking for you can search it, of course uh, but once you've named it and you've given it a nice preview image it's very easy to spot uh, your mirror um, board from from the list of boards that you have um, generally uh, you'll, you'll always start from a blank canvas like this um, but some of the basic things that you can add to your board is um, Posted notes, for example. So you have just uh, resize this browser a little bit. Um, so you have posted notes. That's the primary thing that you think would be you should be able to add it on your uh, on your online whiteboard. So you have sticky notes. You can click and just type something in. And there you go. Um, you can obviously. Um, copy just the regular control C control V to copy your posted notes you can change the color of the post notes um, resize it probably that's too large change the fonts of your of the of the text uh, and a whole bunch of different things right you can also switch to a different shape so on and so forth you can also click on this next one here, which is shapes, uh, and there's a whole bunch of shapes available. Uh, so you can start by, you know, a square, and you can always color this, fill this up, and and put it anywhere in your uh, board. On the bottom right, you can see that there's uh, a little map going on, and this tells you, you know, the entire uh, the layout of the entire board. Uh, and so you can always navigate from here. So this is really useful if you have a lot of contents in your mirror board. Uh, you can also click on this to unpin the map uh, and so that gives you more uh, visual real estate. Um, now you have a few other things here. Templates will again open up that same uh, pop-up which will allow you to select a few templates from Mirrorverse. Um, text is what we can look at next. Uh, which is just if you want to add regular text in any place in your Miro, you know, Miro board. Uh, so you can just say something like, you know, good evening, whatever, you know. Uh, you can add it anywhere, right? No, not a problem at all. So like these three elements. Now I can use connection lines, which is simple arrows, to either you can, of course, you can have even plain lines, right? So you can have this to connect to objects. You can just close this. You can select a different line as well and connect these two. Now with lines, there's something really interesting. So you have um, so you have this line which is um, of a very fluid type, but you can also have um, this very strict type which uh, only sort of bends at right angles um, but of course if you go for the fluid type um, you know it's 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 a nice little wave over here and then of course just like with the sticky notes you can always change the color um, you know or, or even change the arrow types from here so there's a whole bunch of options available in general uh, if you want to to add any objects you would always go from the you would always select the object or um, either object directly or uh, you'd access the menu uh, for that particular object from the left hand side uh, menu bar and then you'd place the object here on the screen and then if you want to change 
something some properties about the object you can click on the object it will open up uh, this menu similarly with all of these other ones and then of course you can uh, fiddle around with these different things you can also right click an object and this will open a custom menu as well with a whole bunch of options that you can take a look at um, depending on your use case so we have um, you know we have um, we have looked at shapes which is just the general shape here you can always also change the shape to a different one um, you can also use a nice little card over here uh, and a whole bunch of other things um, and then of course you have post notes you have lines and a whole, whole uh, and then a few other properties that we took a look at next what we'll do is we will look at pen the option pen so if i click on that i can pretty much just freehand write anything that i want so i can hand write anything so now i'm doing this using a mouse so that's why obviously it's not legible but of course from from a mouse you could properly and just do arrows you can obviously highlight a few things uh, there's eraser as well to raise your stuff um, what I found useful with the pen tool is that if you're using a stylus um, and if your device supports the stylus uh, then it is really really uh, comfortable uh, it is really comfortable uh, and you can pretty much uh, write it as if you're writing it on paper so you can draw diagrams draw work for diagrams very easily using a stylus if you're using the pen tool um, and the uh, pen tool again comes with different colors you can select those ones from here um, and if you long press it you can also change the thickness of the pen itself so there's a few things over there next you might want to you know share your board with other team members and so if you do that if you want to do that then you can click on the share button and this will allow you to share your board with other team members now um, you can straight away type their name or email uh, and Miro will find that out uh, hopefully you have already added the team members to your uh, to your uh, team to your project and therefore you should be able to share any board uh, but of course um, you can also copy the link uh, and, and just share that link or you know if you give um, a public access to uh, to your board you can click on the this the, you can click on the can view option uh, and then just copy the board link uh, and send it to send it to anyone in this case so they'll have a view access to your board now if you do want to share it you can always uh, type in the name of the person you're sharing it with and then just click on send invitations uh, and then that link will be sent to the other person and they will be able to access it access the board from their account so if i look at this board from another device uh, using the account that we just uh, sent an invitation to i can log in to so using another account that we just invited i've logged into miro and I can access it I can access the same board and well this is a real-time whiteboard this is a real-time whiteboard so as you can see on your screen um, I can see this arrow that is coming from the other account um, and I has a move um, has a move around um, you know I can even move this object from the other account and you can see that that is moving in real time so as you can see um, you, it's very easy to share some share your uh, mirror board with some other users and once they access it you can also collaborate in real time so I can always um, change a few things um, and just in real time things will get saved um, and on my screen here using the first account I can see that um, all the changes I can see it in live uh, you know in real time so that's pretty cool um, and obviously if I exit from the board um, the account no longer shows up on the on, on the screen 
the final thing that I'd probably want to uh, show you guys is um, notes. So if you click on this little, click on this little icon here, uh, you can add some notes, uh, and you can also pin this block so that every user who looks at uh, this board will be able to read through the notes. And this is this is great if you as as mentioned here, if you want to add some workshop notes or some meeting notes. Uh, or some research notes that you want people to read before um, the meeting uh, and before visiting the actual board or before consuming the contents from this board. Uh, and so you add a forward slash and you have various options to even format the text that you're going to write. Uh, so you can say, you know, background and then um, you can either add a few other things from here or just type some regular text, some regular background notes for this board very simple you can just you know keep on pin it over here and there it is right your notes are right there and then one last thing is um, the ability to add comments uh, so I can click on this comment um, icon here and add a comment to any any spot on the board and I can just add some comment now this comment should be visible to all the users looking at uh, looking at this board. I can also tag a user, so I can tag this particular user, and that user will get a notification once uh, once they they once this comment has been added. Uh, look at this comment. And I can also resolve the comment so um, it no longer shows up in the list of uh, in the lin has, has a blip on your screen um, but of course if a comment is not resolved then it will it will show up as this little icon on your board so just a couple of things over there some basic sort of tutorials or how to guides to um, to, to get get you up to up to speed with Miro uh, and that's why this is the first video in this series called how to Miro and um, I hope you like this video um, and if you do please let me know in the comments below uh, let me know what you think of Miro itself and once you get your hands on uh, on on this platform uh, let me know what you think about um, it and how, how you use it on in your um, personal life or a professional life um, and for more videos, do subscribe to this YouTube channel um, and uh, I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.